Good morning. I'm heading out of Granby right now. I had a great time with my friends. So fun, actually. I ended up staying a second day. It was wonderful. Had a lot of great food, good times, comfortable bed, all that stuff. Uh, I'm gonna make my way, I think about 13 miles downriver from here. I'm gonna go through the town of Hot Sulphur Springs. Might stop and hang out there for a little bit and check that out. My route for today is gonna follow Highway 40 along the Colorado River for about 13 and a half miles. Gonna go through the town of Hot Sulphur Springs. Might check out the hot springs and soak there and then find somewhere to camp. Back to some good old highway walking. Got nine miles to Hot Sulphur Springs. If all goes well, should make it to Kremlin tomorrow. Do a big resupply there. Just about to cross over the Colorado here on Highway 40. And this right, I think this right here is where it joins up with the Fraser River. There's a weasel down there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick it up on this camera, but it's running down there right on the edge of the river. Could be an otter possibly. I think it just jumped in the water though. Dang it. So walking by the Windy Gap Reservoir right now. Uh, this is the Colorado River dammed up. There's actually a pumping station down there somewhere where they actually send this water all the way up to Lake Granby, six miles away. And then from there, it's stored and then pumped through the Continental Divide back over to the Front Range, which is just insane to me. The old uh, westbound California Zephyr going by. Road booty! I just found a 20 liter Osprey ditty sack or maybe a dry sack. It's got like the river bag type roll top and it's a lot nicer than any of the ones that I have. Yeah, it looks uh, looks brand new. I'm gonna take it with me. Hot sulfur springs y'all. First in winter carnivals. Whatever that means. Well, I've knocked off about 10 miles already. Uh, just walking into Hot Sulphur Springs right now. I feel great. That uh, that rest day was really good for me, I think. Uh, excited to kind of check out this town. Never been here before. Only driven through it. So, I don't know. I might go check out the Hot Springs. Maybe, uh, maybe get some food at a restaurant. I'm here at Pioneer Park right now, which used to have free camping, I guess, which would have been really nice because it's right next to the hot springs, but for some reason they shut it down. It's still a nice little day use area, so I'm gonna stop and have a little lunch, and then I might have to hit up the spring. All right, I'm gonna go soak. Might be a little bit of a warm day for this, but I called and they said there's a little bit of shade in the pool, so I'm gonna check it out. It's like they've got a bunch of different pools. It's kind of terrace. There's pools going all the way down this hill. got here it was way too sunny and hot to be in the hot springs out here but as you can see behind me it's clouding up big time it's nice and cool now though very nice 
super nice in this pool. Mm -hmm. That rain was madness. It was a lot of lightning too. I'm really glad I was not hiking through Byers Canyon in that. And uh, it was indoors at the hot springs. Not sure exactly when, what I'm gonna do tonight. Just reading about all the uh, mudslide and flash flood warnings all around here. Like, uh, been a bunch of mudslides in all the uh, areas that burned last fall. A little scary. Don't want to get caught in one of those. So, yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Hmm, looks like that may be a free hot spring keep that in mind for next time I'm here right on the Colorado well I found this county road that uh, left right from the hot springs it's going in my direction but it takes me up uh, well above the river and there's some BLM land out here so as long as I'm up high and not near any uh, of the burn areas I sh should be fine tonight Looking at the radar, it looks like there may be another cell coming through late tonight, but then tomorrow morning it should be nice and uh, should have plenty of uh, nice weather to make it to Kremlin. Found a decent little spot to throw the tent up. I'm right on the edge of, this is BLM land that I'm on. I'm right on the edge of state wildlife land and I don't think I'm allowed to camp over there. So I stopped right before that. And uh, just down over this ridge and like seven or 800 feet down is the Colorado. Um, I think it's Byers Canyon. So I'm well, well above that in case there's a heavy downpour again tonight. So I was all worried about those thunderstorms earlier and where I was gonna camp tonight. And that's all I was thinking about. And I forgot to fill up my water when I left the hot spring. So I only have like a liter and a half left. So probably shouldn't make a dinner that's uh, water intensive. So what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna have breakfast for dinner. I've got this delicious uh, granola, some powdered milk. Um, yeah, it requires a little bit of water, but not much. And it's not, uh, it isn't loaded with sodium like the the MSG ramen noodles that are my other option. So, granola it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. It's my bedtime. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. Bye.